Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm painting Solvig from Zombicide Green Horde. So the artwork to this character again was mostly blue, so I decided to start with a primer of wolf gray, and it's a nice base, uh, just like my previous miniature. And then I move on to a contrast griff charger gray to put over what is blue on the artwork, and this will give it a nice uh, highlight right off the bat. But I will come back near the end and finish off her dress with some uh, other colors. Alright, so to cover up her face and her hair for easier painting later, I use Brain Matter Beige from the Army Painters War Paints. And this will create a nice base uh, to be able to use later on a contrast on her hair and a flesh tone on her skin. Okay, so now moving on to Rigid Brown, which is from the Zombicide Invader paint set from the Army Painter. And this is for her top, and it's like a, it really goes well because it's like a leather color, and in the in artwork she has like a couple tones of brown, so I decided to do the same thing, starting off with this rigid leather. I should have maybe went with a darker brown here, but I used Monster Brown from the Army Painter. And this is for just below that top I just did, so around her waist, uh, another part of her bustier, <laughs> I think is what they call it. And uh, I thought I was going to put a little bit darker tone on it later on, but no, and I end up liking what it does. Alright, moving on to Filthy Cape from the Army Painter's paint set, and this is for her leggings. Alright, so this is where I use some Griffhound Orange, a contrast color from Citadel Paints, and this is for her beautiful orange hair. Now it is a little bright, so I will put a, uh, another tone on top of it later on just to darken it a little bit. Now we're using one of Army Painter's D&D's Marvelous Pigments Paint Sets paints, Rigid Leather, and this is for her belt and for her sword uh, sheath, and actually her shield as well, because it gave it a nice natural... Uh, you know what? I don't think I did use that on there. I might be wrong.
Oh, never mind. I used it on the shield. <laughs> I was wrong. But it is a nice color for it because it does give it that woody look. So I use Dark Stone from the Army Painter, and this is for her boots, and I actually forgot to do her arm braces, so I do do them off camera. I use the same Dark Stone. So with Dracolic scales, or Dracolic, or Dracolic, whatever you want to call it, from D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint sets, this is where I do the highlights of her dress. And then using Dark Oath Flesh from Citadel's Contrast Paints, I do her flesh. And I actually think this is what I use on her hair, if I'm not mistaken. And it actually works really well. Then I use some Claymore Blade from the Zombicide Black Plague paint set from the Army Painter. And this is for the sword and uh, around her shield and in the, the buckle of her shield, I guess, the middle of her shield. Then using some Soft Tone, which is a wash from the Army Painter, I use this on pretty much everything except for the blue. And this, I, right after this, I also noticed that I hadn't done the shield. Uh, with the silver, so I will come back and fix that. So this is where I come and fix the shield with that Claymore blade. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but my background has changed quite a bit. I actually spray painted my painting mat just to get it back white again, because it was looking a little messy. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can kind of see the miniature a little bit better this way. And then I use my Commando Green from the Army Painter, and this is to do the base. And for some reason, I go completely off camera. You do not see what I'm doing, except for the end. And that will finish off this miniature. I would like to thank you guys for watching. You'll be seeing a picture of her in a minute. 